the devices we've enabled are global. They're everywhere now. And you have to realize that as technology has changed over the past 20 years, and we went from desktop computers to laptop computers, now you're talking about there are more connected devices on the planet now than there are people. So if you think about the, the, the smartphones and the tablets and the, all the different devices, and Brewer Science has, has had an impact and made that possible. Yeah, here we are. And the building on the left, this front little building right here was, was our building. And uh, when, we moved, when we moved into this, we only had the front half of it. So we didn't have the back half, we just had the front half of it. Late 70s, the, the semiconductor industry hit what they called a red brick wall. They hit this wall that said, with our current photo equipment to make these designs, we can't go beyond one micron. Can't get there, we're hitting the limit. Terry Brewer founded the company in some leased space in North Y, Missouri, which is a, almost like a suburb of Arala. <laughs> it was pretty humble. Uh, when we began, it was basically a concrete block garage. Had two or three computers at that time. I remember we, uh, we had one of the first Lisa, Apple Lisa computers. And we had a little laboratory set up inside that. The reason it's not working is the light that is used to pattern these wafers is bouncing off a reflective surface, coming back up and interfering. So you, instead of getting straight walls, you get jagged walls. Terry Brewer had an idea of the development of an anti-reflective coating, manufacture this material on his own. And uh, since revolutionized, uh, the anti-reflective coatings that, that he invented or have been used for over 30 years since we've been doing it, it's the staple of how we've been able to get uh, the uh, size of the transistor smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. We have en enabled the semiconductor industry to, to go from uh, a large bag phone to this little tiny cell phone that you now have. Again, the technology that Dr. Brewer developed was well ahead of its time. The uh, semiconductor industry isn't just on the west and east coast. It exists in the Midwest. We're in Rolla, small community. We're a company that started from scratch, no venture capital, no big dollars were ever put into us. It's pretty amazing that um, here in central Missouri, I can work for one of the most high-tech companies in the world. We invented technology that is so good that after 33 years, it's still used by everybody around the world. Companies realize that they can rely on us and they can re rely on our products. We take a lot of pride in what we've done and we know that we can help kind of change the direction going forward in the future. Brewer Science has always been very uh, involved in our community. Um, everything from you know youth programs, to the arts. If you're in a community, it isn't about what you take, it's about what you give. And for Brewer Science, it's about what you give to the community, to the world, to its employees. For Brewer Science, we have a global presence, so we have offices in Europe and also offices in Asia. The culture of Brewer Science is so unique. I think you know, we have people from all the world coming together and we can understand, even though we come from different parts of the world, we can work together as a team. That we can, with such a small group, we can influence the whole semiconductor world and with this, the, the, the whole world. How is it that a small company that started with, without anything in Rolla, Missouri, how does that happen? Why does it happen? That's the question. And that's better than any answer I can give you. Dr. Brewer, he has this culture, he has this ethos that really helps people develop. His, as I said, his um, success comes to the people. Very much like our business model self-perpetuates, 
So does our employee model. So does the way we, we, we treat our programs, our policies for employees, the, the kind of challenges we give them. It isn't just to create the product or to be creative, but it's to create a cycle of perpetuating the ability to be innovative. There is no word no with Terry. It's always yes. Always moving forward, always looking forward. Whenever we work on something there at Brewer Science and we get it and we get it right and it's done and we're, we're proud of it, it always seems like the next words out of his mouth are, okay, now what? What's next? The goal of the company is to try to enable our customers to be successful, whether that's in healthcare, automotive, aeronautics. Computer chips are in everything now. And how many billion? devices do they predict are going to be part of the Internet of Things? Sensors is an area that is wide open for innovation and for creative new ideas and new products. Brewer Science at the very core is about connecting people. We're changing the world every day in some form or fashion. Practical solutions to practical problems. We do that through our technology. I think we push Moore's Law beyond what the law was fit for. And the future is even better than the past. The technology just happens to be the vehicle. I don't like spending any time looking back what has happened. I still want to look forward about what we will do yet and actually going into the future and bringing that future into the present.